Hey, what's up, guys? It is your friendly neighborhood Yu-Gi-Oh! Superhero, Ben 2000 YGO. Sorry it took me so long to make a video. Uh, I Life kind of got in my way. So, I've decided that uh, for the first video back this week, I wanted to go ahead and talk about the ban list, because that's a hot topic right now. And, uh, you know, I need the engagement. So, <laughs> and I'm sure most of you will probably disagree with my choices, but that's all right. Wouldn't be the first time. Uh, basically, this video is going to be me talking about kind of what I think will happen mixed in with what I think should happen. So, and uh, as we go through each card, I will tell you which one is which. Like, is this something that should happen? Is this something that I think will happen as we go through each card? So just keep that in mind as the discussion continues, uh, and we'll get into it. So, uh, but this is more of a ban list that I think should happen more than will. Just getting that out of the way now let's get into the cards that's that's gonna get banned we're starting with the ban section all right so first things first i want to ban nemesis corridor you'll see why later and i want to ban monarchs erupt again you'll see why later all right so before you guys start typing your outrage how dare you these cards do nothing hold that thought now we're going to get into the cards that are more problematic. Alright, so, most of you probably will agree with me on this one. And this is a card that is probably is going to get the axe, I think. Calamities. As it should, because it's very much an a, a only I play Yu-Gi-Oh type of card. And, and frankly, if we get rid as many of these kinds of cards as possible from the game, the better the game will be. That's really how I feel about it. Um... Yu-Gi-Oh! needs to be a back-and-forth kind of game, like tennis, if you will, like that as an example, instead of solitaire. Uh, the next card is a card that I want also to get the axe, and because it's in the same vein as Calamities, Zexel. I want Zexel to get the axe! <laughs> because this card is even more only I play Yu-Gi-Oh! than Calamities, because at least with Calamities... You can still activate your spells and traps. This card says, uh, no, you do nothing. You do absolutely nothing. And most of them are going to make him come out at, like, you know, 3,000 points or so. So he's going to be really hard to beat over with just a free mo summon monster. So, and usually the decks that play this card are, have it backed up with a ton of back row. So they're like, oh, only I can activate cards. Oh, and if you want to attack it, good luck. I've I, I got back row for days. And the next line of cards, uh, do I think this card will get the axe? I don't think it will get the axe just yet. Um, I think that Konami will skip this one because it's not the primary problematic card right now. But it will be. And uh, basically, once this guy's out of the way... A lot of the players who are focusing on this will go to this guy. That's my that's my theory -o there. And once these two guys are out of the way, we got to talk about the big SOB in the room that I think deserves not only deserves the axe in some way. This is this this asshole. I'm sorry, but if you're playing this card and you're not playing Red Eyes and you're not playing Dark Magician, like those two decks, or a combination of those two decks, I don't think you should be allowed to play this card. I'll be straight up with you. I, uh, if I play against you on Edo Pro and I see this, I just am like, oh, well, you're an asshole. Good to know. <laughs> That's That might be just me making an assumption or a projection. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> um, I think that the Dragoon package needs to be hit somehow. So what do I mean by that? I think that either they need to ban Dragoon and, you know, or limit or ban or excuse me or ban Berte here that's the one they need to ban one of these two cards and then with that uh needs to come a limit of this card of some kind you know what i mean like if we're gonna leave this guy in the game you need to limit him to one limit this card to one and ban this guy completely that way we completely get rid of the decks that center around this card all right because I'm frankly tired of seeing Guru Control have this big unstoppable monster on top of all the hashtag negate and floodgate nonsense that that deck does. So, because it will be a problem. You get rid of these two guys, and the decks that centered around this will be the next problem. Mark my words. 
Uh, so that that whole package needs to be hit somehow. The other thing that they, Konami could do, it could be completely ban this card, and then you can ignore Verte, and you can ignore Red Eyes Fusion completely if you just want to flat out ban this card, which is what I would actually advocate for. And uh, truth be told, I, I don't even want to do that, but I think that that's the best course of action based on the player base, especially because I've been playing a lot on Edo Pro lately, and this guy is in everything. Dinosaurs, blue eyes, <laughs> guru control, altergeist. Uh, I've even seen like weird Mystic Mind Exodia decks playing this, which I think is just weird, and I don't know why you would bother, but it's still a problematic card. And I know it doesn't fix every bad deck, but it's still a problematic card. It needs to go. It's just it it, it does too much for the game, in my opinion. Uh, for the player who plays it, I mean, we're talking burn damage, uh, not being able to be targeted, not being able to be destroyed. You have to beat over this card, essentially, or find a non-targeting banishing card. And on top of all that, this card is a negation. It's just, it's it's a card that needs to go. I wouldn't be bothered by it if the only decks that were able to play it were Red Eyes and Dark Magician. But if we're going to ban one card or, or ban slash limit, you know three cards i'd much rather just go ahead and ban the problem you know or errata it so it says you have to play 50 percent of your deck is dark magician or red eyes or something weird errata like that <laughs> that would be funny uh, and highly unlikely that konami would do that route um the next card is that i want blank banned is Hulk fibrax before you can freak out wait till you get to the next section and then you'll see why i want how the fibrax banned just axe this card um, the biggest thing about this card that I want axed about it is it's not that it does a lot of plussing or it's not as dangerous as it was in previous formats, um, but I really would much rather like have this problematic card gone and then give us back a bunch of cards that were on the ban list because of this card. You know, a lot of combo pieces, a lot of, uh, you know, cards that were kind of necessary for certain decks. I feel like they got, you know, unjustly punished because this card exists. So, I'd rather just go ahead and snip it right out of the game. Alright, let's go over to the limited section so you can uh, have your unjust hate go away. <laughs> Alright, let's go over to the limited section. Now, like I, I, I'm going to go ahead and say this. In, in an ideal format, uh, also before I continue this, do I think Hyaka Fibrax is going to change on the list? I absolutely don't. And I also, on, the, on that front, I'm... I, I, I do think that Dragoon is also going to dodge this next list, to be honest with you. Uh, the reason why is because Konami, is, I think, is not done making money with that card. So until then, those cards aren't going to go anywhere, and that's just something we're going to have to deal with as a player base. Now, let's go on to the limited section. All right, first card I had I would have limited is Blaster, Dragon Ruler of, Dragon Ruler of Infernos. Uh, my favorite of card in all of the game. Ironically, <laughs> uh, this is all, one thing is this is probably the safest out of the dragon rollers that could have come back. And now I know a lot of the players out there will say, "What about Salamangrate? Salamangrate has a trap card that's already more effective at destroying cards than this card would be for them. It'd just be a beat stick at best." Um, so I honestly don't think that they could abuse it as much as people think they could. But even if they could, what have Salamangrates been doing lately? I mean. The only thing I've seen them do that's anything that's annoying is go into extra code talker or whatever the, the big one that's like, oh, you can't uh, chain to my effects. Like, that's the most lethal thing that deck does. Um, so I don't think giving that, that this or any other fire deck or dragon deck blaster is really going to be all that effective. I think the dragon ruler's time uh, at being peak power is past. And again, like with the, with, uh, the banning of Dark Matter Dragon, the Dragon Rulers can come back, I think. Uh, I honestly feel like Konami even owes the player base to give them back to us because they already banned the card. That was the reason they were banned in the first place. So, if Konami, if you're going to ban Dark Matter, give us back the Dragon Rulers. If you're not going to give us back Dark Matter, then if you're gonna, if you want to give us back Dark Matter Dragon, then by all means, you can ban the Dragon Rulers again. That's how I feel about it. That's that's you know that's really how I feel about it. Do one or the other and uh stop being lazy anyway do i think blaster could come back absolutely uh this is the least dangerous one and i honestly i feel like if we're gonna keep dark matter dragon gone 
uh, we can obviously bring back the other two. I know, I know you guys are like, but, but Mermail, but, but, uh, Ad Emancipator. They're not as threatening with these two cards. This card at best is Monster Reborn. This card's going to be powerful for the Mermail decks. I'll give you that. But the problem with the Mermail decks isn't going to be title. I promise you that. It's going to be other water monsters. And that could be a problem that could be solved in a later ban list if it proved to be too much. Uh, because obviously the Mermail deck already does a lot of hand looping. And this card just doesn't add to that. So. Now we're going to go on to the next cards. I think this should... Oh, by the way, I do, I think, oop, you got a sneak peek, uh, I don't think the Dragon Rulers <laughs> can, uh, will come back, to be honest. I think Konami's just, they might give us back Blaster if they give us back any of them, but I honestly don't think they'll give us back all the Dragon Rulers just because it's Konami and they're, they're just not about letting cards come back even if they're not problematic anymore. Um, next card is Destrudo! This is another card that I would rather have, I think, could come back, and mostly, if, especially if we got rid of Needle Fiber, uh, or Hack Fibrax, whatever you hell we want to call it. Um, along with this card, you could give back Steam, O-Line, Jet Synchron, and uh, Glow Up Bolt. All those cards can come back uh, if Needle Fiber goes away. You literally have cards coming off the list, and that's a good thing. Uh, come, they can all come back out, off at one and then slowly trickle back down to more as necessary or if not, you know, staying at one. But these cards don't have any... Once Hawk Fibrax is gone, these cards are literally no longer a problem. So, yeah. Uh, Skulker Bad Joker, I don't see wh why uh, if we're going to leave... I think that you... Yeah, I, don't, I don't see why... Like, I don't honestly think Electromite is going to come back. I honestly don't. I know that I saw a Trips video about it, and he want, he predicts Electromite coming back. I'm like, eh, maybe. Uh, but I would either put Electromite. Uh, if you're going <clears> to... I was gonna say, As I was saying, if you, you either give us back Electromite or you give us back Skulker Bat. Pendulum decks haven't been doing anything, and I think either one of these changes would be necessary. Um, the next thing, it's an either one scenario, but not a both. Uh, but I honestly think Skulker Bad Joker would be fine. It's just it's just another Stratos type monsters, and there's tons of monsters like that in the game, so I don't see a problem with it. Um, like I said, if Dragoon, uh, if the Dragoon package was to get hit, what I would do is I would limit Red Eyes Fusion and I would ban Verte and then limit Dragoon to one. Uh, if we're gonna leave Dragoon in the game. Um, but if this card can stay at three, if Verte can stay at three, if we're gonna get rid of Dragoon. I think that those those that would solve all the problems. Um, next, we're going to some cards that are a little more personal. Cards that I just personally would like to see get the axe. I honestly would love to see Ash Blossom get the axe. I don't think it will, though. I don't think Ash Blossom will get touched at all, so you guys don't have to worry about this at any shape at all. But I really hate this card. I, I, I don't like that I have to play it because the game is the way it is, and I don't like that it gets played on me. <laughs> Uh, straight up. I hate playing the card. I hate get it, having it played against me. I would rather just have this card gone. Um, but that is what that is. Um, I'd rather everybody be playing Effect Veiler over this, but that's just you know, that's just if I had my way. Um, the next card is is Ben 10. I think will go to one. If I had my... If I honestly... like, I, I agree with Triff's video about it, that it, it should get banned, but it won't because Konami's still making money off of Drytron. So, I honestly think that Ben 10 will stick around. Uh, I should be the only legal Ben 10 in the game. That's right, I said it. Ban the angel, and then there's only me. I'm the only legal... <laughs> <laughs> um, and the next card I think that should get limited to one is Mystic Mine. I don't think Konami will do anything with it, to be brutally honest, but I do think that it should happen. Uh, Mystic Mine... Is, it's just a card that promotes degenerate decks, and if, frankly, if I had my way, uh, we would just get rid of all of the degeneracy in the game, uh, especially card decks that center around this. I know my buddy Edgar is going to be like, what? No, that's my Exodia card. Yeah, I know, I know. Sorry, Edgar. But, uh, you know, I want people to play more fair Yu-Gi-Oh, and this card does not promote fair play as when it creates a, a whole deck around it. So, I don't want it banned. I don't think it's ban worthy, but I think if it was limited, because, you know, if you limit it to one, then it's more of a, uh, you know, stall for a temporary time type of card, which, you know, can be useful as kind of a comeback type of card. 
but I want, I honestly think this card could you know, should go to one, and then that way it completely gets rid of Mystic Mind based decks. Um, it's still in the game, but now the decks can't center around it anymore, and I think that would be more positive because the decks that typically this centers around are all burn decks or Exodia or Final Countdown. They're all troll decks that just need to yeet out of the game. Um, and the lastly, the last card I would love to see come back to one, especially if the Nemesis card, Wind Thunder Monster that I, I showed earlier that's banned in my dream ban list here uh, was banned. We could bring back Thunder Dragon Colossus at one. At one. We're not going to let the Thunder Dragon players abuse it. And if you get rid of it, good. Good. You should be able to. Um... That's just how I think about it. I think this card needs could be come back could come back to one. I think it's that's it's safe enough for that. Plus, there's a lot of cards in the game that really uh, stop floodgatey monsters like this now that weren't around when this card was prominently played. So I think between that, this that would be fine to come back at one. It'd be annoying, but if we get rid of that Nemesis monster, then it's not splashable. It's only going to be played in Thunder Dragon excuse me, base decks or thunder base decks. Because I still think, like, you know, Battery Man and stuff like that might still play. If you were playing Battery Man, I don't know why you would, but, you know, just saying. Uh, all right, now that we've got... Also, I don't think this card's going to leave anywhere. I think it's going to stay banned. Honestly, the most likely limits that I've posted here in this section, I honestly feel are just Ben 10 and blaster are the most likely limits the rest of these are just what i think should happen now let's go on to the semi limits uh this one will be real quick because i only have one and that's just him malicious is the only card i feel like that actually warrants a semi limit uh i know that a lot of people may not like this because i know as somebody who does play a hero so that i would love to have this at three but i but too many warrior decks abuse it when it's at three so I think if we leave it at two, it's the it's the only monster. It's actually the only card in the game that I think actually could stay at two, and should be staying at two, just because it's just kind of like this perpetuating like all the warrior decks use it. Doesn't matter what kind of war you're you're working with, whether it's like Phantom Knights, Dark Warrior, uh, Goki, Dark Warrior, or Goki, or anything. It's just yeah, or all these other kinds of like Infernoval Knight decks probably would even find a way to abuse this if it was at three i wouldn't even be shocked so leave it at two it's fine it's not it's not causing too much problem and yeah it doesn't warrant other cards getting banned so if we, it stays at two it's just it's, it's at a perfect spot it's usable if you play it but it's not abusable so that's that's it's at the right spot in my opinion now we're going to go to the unlimited section this is the section i'm most excited about um so with uh, certain cards getting banned and certain cards getting eroded, certain cards can come back to three, and I think, and would solve no, and would not cause any problems. Uh, the first one is Raz Darkest Metal Dragon. All right, so I think this card can come back as a three, and yes, Dragon decks will play it at three. Let's, uh, I'm not even going to try and sugarcoat it for you guys. Absolutely, they'll play this at three. But it's a one-time summon, and it can't summon another copy of itself and keep going so that's that's the good thing it's a once per it's a hard once per turn so dragon decks will use it of course they will but it's not it's nowhere near as invincible as it once was or as threatening as it once was um <coughs> excuse me <clears throat> the next card that i think can come back to three if a certain card gets banned which is calamities I would argue that we can bring back Lithosogen back to three. I know that dinosaur decks can abuse it, but dinosaur, what are they going to make? I mean, they can maybe make that one rank nine negate that Konami just released, which is, which is obviously why I think this card could come back to three if they ban Calamities, because it also promotes the sale of newer product. So this one is a very likely one. I also think this one's very likely because, frankly, um... Red Eyes getting an errata to be a hard once return makes it a lot less threatening. While we're in the uh, True King area, I think True King's return will also come back to three because what's it doing at two? Nothing. Uh, the deck that plays it hasn't been doing a whole lot, although I'm about to give that deck a little bit of a boost. <coughs> Remember I mentioned I wanted Monarchs Erupt to go away. Give them, give that, Take that card out of the game, give that skill drain, and why I think skill drain should be a three. 
Uh, the OCG doesn't seem to have a problem with it being at three, and the other part of it is if this card is a both sides type of card. It's not a one one side can use it type of card. So because your own the decks that are going to use it might be like the true kings, you know, because they're going to be like, well, the the true king deck might abuse it because frankly, you know, they're already they're big they're single summon big monsters and they can get rid of it whenever they want and that's all good, but the risk of doing that for that deck would be, oh, I tribute it. Well, now your effects can work too. So it's kind of got a good balance that way. Uh, and I like, that's what I like about this card. It's purely balanced. And the decks that will use it, uh, that would abuse it from back in the day, would just, they won't hold a candle today. They just won't. And there are cards in the game that can play around this and everybody has a big monster or two or three big monsters they can summon. So... I honestly think it's not as threatening as it maybe it once was. And it doesn't really stop the opponent from playing the game. It just stops monsters from activating. So you can still summon all the monsters you want. Like, you know, this, you know, and with cards like Dangers and Pancratops and all of the back row hate we have in the game. Which, by the way, I don't want any of that to go anywhere. I mean, Harpies, Feather Duster, Twin Twister, uh, Cosmic Cyclone, all that stuff can stay in my opinion. You know, you want to play a back row deck, well, then you risk losing all your back row uh, to cards like Lightning Storm and Harpy Sether Duster, which I'm okay with. Uh, if So play, go ahead, play all the flood, all these kinds of floodgates you want. They have like a hole, if you will, in the, in the armor. So I think, and this card's fair. Your, your monster's effects are negated too. I mean, the Malefics were able to abuse this, but Malefics in 2021, like... I wouldn't bother. And the last card that I think could come back to three, uh, once we have the, I don't know if we have the errata here officially or not, but once it's here, bring back Firewall Dragon to three. It's it's a hard once per turn now, so it's not a threat anymore. It can come back. So that is, these are the cards that I think that can come off the ban list. And uh, there is a, these are all the, a lot of these cards I think should, like obviously the skill drain thing, I, I honestly don't think Konami will do that one. The rest on this part, I think they absolutely might. Uh, there is a possibility. Uh, Lithosigem is a little bit of a catch there. Uh, they'll probably put this one back to two just to see if it does anything first. But outside of that, like, yeah, I could totally see them, like, you know, letting certain cards be limited. Uh, I, don't, I don't think it'll be a problem. Anyway, guys, those are my thoughts on the on the FNL list. If you guys have any thoughts, make sure you put those in the comments below. If you're new to the Ben 2000 of YGO channel, consider subscribing. It really helps me out. And leave a like and uh, share the video. You know, let's get a discussion going. I want to know what you guys think about the F up and coming FNL list that should have dropped yesterday uh, as I'm making this video and didn't. So, give me your thoughts. And I'll catch you in my next one. Peace.